Hello cousins near and far. Welcome to my video, the two key components of a DNA study. Have you ever been a part of a genealogical DNA study and found yourself wondering how people concluded that a specific segment came from a specific ancestor? And even more so, how did they verify it? There are two key components at play in a DNA study. Let's have a look. The first thing we look at are DNA comparisons. If you're doing a solo DNA study, a study comparing just yourself to your cousins, this will begin to identify the segments you inherited from your different DNA branches, ultimately allowing you to build out your chromosome map. Comparing others only to yourself will only benefit you. Why? Because of random inheritance. The results of a solo DNA comparison study will only show you how one person matches everybody else along the segments they alone inherited via random inheritance. So make a note here. If you're in a DNA study group and your head person is only comparing everyone to themselves, they are only helping themselves. Now, if you're working as a group, you'll want to see a round robin DNA comparison. This is where everyone present in the group is compared in turn to everyone else. Not everyone will match on the same segment, but what you will begin to see is everyone's matching segments lining up in a row, either on one chromosome or over many, steadily revealing the most recent common ancestor among the participants of the study in a more whole and complete view. We are getting a snapshot of the genetic makeup of your specific ancestor, which of course is one of the goals of the DNA study. So DNA comparisons, either solo or round robin, this is the first key component of a DNA study. It is the DNA study. The question now becomes, how do we identify and verify absolutely who this segment represents? The answer is chromosome mapping, the second key component of any DNA study, and frankly, the most overlooked and forgotten part of DNA studies. Everyone has their own unique chromosome map due to random inheritance. Starting with comparing yourself to closer known cousins, identifying branches and working your way up to the branch stemming from the ancestor of interest. If your chromosome map tracks properly and the segment finds of the DNA study fall inside the correct segment identified in your chromosome map, more than likely you have found that ancestor. By honing in on this segment and building out your chromosome map to sift through and identify other surname branches present at this juncture, it is possible to verify absolutely your ancestor, the subject of the DNA study. To learn how to build your chromosome map, follow me to the next video. Links will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching.